Hello Taffers, welcome to my next Thief FM Let's Play. This time I am doing a historical dive into FMs and looking at a noble death. This is an FM from June of 1999. It's the first FM I could find that doesn't require drama to play. There were a couple like Down We Go and Guardhouse that require uh, you to, to launch the mission through Dramed. Might be a bit tri trickier to um, record a let's play through that. So I'm starting with the Noble Death. And again, I'm, I'm wanting to like look at the Thief FMs year by year, era by era, looking at some, some highlights. And I thought starting with the very first that you could actually launch through the game would be a good place to start. And it is a Noble Death. And the first thing I noticed in this one is that you are required to kill someone on any difficulty, uh, which means I probably can't ghost it. Um, some missions like uh, Cult of the Resurrection, you you have to kill someone, but only on certain difficulties. But this this early FM has requires you to do it on each one. Uh, anyway, uh, last pretext note here. Uh, this FM series is a complement to my video essay series that I'm working on on the um, the history of Thief FMs, where I actually start by looking at this one and, and then some other early ones like uh, the, the drama ones I mentioned. But in this Let's Play series, I will of course actually be playing them. So anyway, um, looks like this knife didn't hold the note up. Let's take a look at it. Ah, uh, from Cuddy. <laughs> oh, how sly and seedy. Yes, she won't be needing them after tonight. So obviously this is before Cuddy um, choked to death and Christ left. Uh, spoilers. Sorry about that. So yeah, I, I already noted the first objective. Let's see what else we have. Okay, very clear logic. Nobles I visit don't have money, so I've got to steal 1250, a golden skull. You know, early FM authors loved their golden skulls. Like, going back to look at these, I have seen there are a lot of golden skulls, man. If you want to make a throwback FM, just put a golden skull in it. Hello? Show yourself. I'd rather not. Nothing making noise now. <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? Well, welcome to my Let's Play a Thief FM series. Here we go, very first FM. The most simplistic setup you could imagine. And I get caught by a guard. Yep, that's me. Of course, I, I've been playing Thief since I was a kid, um, roughly since 2000. It's when I first encountered it. I mean, in the 90s, you know, I was mainly playing FPS and action games on, on the PC. I didn't discover Thief until 2000. But still playing it most of my whole life, and... I don't think I played this FM before, but I know I, I started playing these FMs back around that same time. I, I think Cult of the Resurrection was my first. It's all kind of vague, but... So I have, uh, the, you know, these early FMs I'm looking at, I have uh, played Hello? them. Show yourself. Some of them, like Cult of the Resurrection, quite no, a lot. Make a noise now. <laughs> but some of them I've never touched, and this is one of them. I never played this one back in the day. I love, I, I mean, as soon as I started it, it just takes me back to, like, early days of fan-made map stuff. It's like you can immediately tell this. I can see myself now uploading this, or downloading this map. Playing it back in the day, along with any Doom maps I might be checking out, or Quake maps. Like, oh hey, here's a fan-made map for Thief. I wonder if these will 
these will go anywhere. 22 plus years later, and... Well, we've seen that it's the fan community that's kept this game alive. And that gave fans what they want. Well, no one said anything. It's a lock-picking noise. got very quiet. Who goes? Yeah. What's there? Nothing, trust me. Yeah. But see, he believed me. He said nothing here now. I mean, should I even try to ghost this one if I'm going to be croaking a noble person? Like, come on. Might as well bust the ghost now. Who cares? Or maybe my philosophy could be that outside of killing the noble woman, everything else must be as ghosted as possible. Scars can't think about anything but food. Hello? Is someone there? Oh well. Don't know what it was. <laughs> Who is there? Is someone there? Like I would tell you if there was? Nothing making noise now. <laughs> I also I like going back to these very first FMs because it's like, hey, if I made an FM, this is probably what it would be like. You know, I mean, on the, the spectrum of FMs, you know, there's this, and, you know, then there's the Black Frog, and if I made one, it'd be closer to this, I, I assume. I think I'm pretty safe in assuming that. whistling going on. A safe spot. Out of this barrel. Who's there? Hello? Oops. I guess it was nothing. I think the wind just blew the door open.
Ghosting this one? I mean, technically, I even just broke the ghost just then. There was a time I was. I was quite a dedicated ghoster and I was aware of, like, all the rules, but that's been years ago. I've, I've grown soft. Over there. Like, right there, I just technically broke the ghost. By strict rules, I'm guessing, because they noticed me, even though they didn't. I'm alert. Okay, if you want perfect ghost, um, you'll have to go to another Let's Player. At least for now, you're not gonna get that with me. You'll get plenty of stupidity and antics, but not not ghosting. But there was a time when I was a dedicated ghoster. Pretentious can you get? <coughs> this marble ceiling. Ghosting? That. That's what I think of ghosting. And of course, the irony is it hardly decreased the light because of the chandelier. So I guess that's what I get for being sloppy. Yeah, I'm old now, who cares? Now it's gotten to the point if I lose health in an FM, I just keep playing. I don't care. I sloppily drop off a crate and lost two health. Ah, whatever. I'll just keep going. Saw something over here. <clears throat> Did you see something? No, over there. Well, I got away with one there. Seems clear enough now. Hey, this came out in 1999, right? I can I can afford not to ghost it. Something moved there. Those were the good old days when you could. Go on a rampage of oh these now. FMs and no one would rats. bat an eye. Aha, uh -huh. you see from those saves that I have played this before. Hey, I didn't say this was a blind playthrough, I said this was a playthrough. I played it for my video essay series looking at the history of Thief FMs. Content coming soon. In the first part, I'll be looking at the early era of FMs, beginning with the Noble Death. Also looking at other classics like 
The Shadow of Lord Rothchest, Lord Edmund Entertains, and Autumn in Lampfire Hills. The actual throne room doesn't have the throne. Oh. Oh, this picks fast. Yeah. Guys are gonna be walking through here again. Whew, it opened inward. Thank your builder. Uh uh, some some spy cubbies. Yep. Someone's up to no good. Of course, kind of ironic that I'm saying that as I'm burgling the place. I wouldn't be robbing the place, I don't know. I... I don't want to go up there. Metal floor, torch to, uh, torture device equals. Let's let's get back to that room later. That's a <clears throat> You say that it'll be the last time you jump for rats, but I doubt you. Is that you, Kevil? No, actually, um. I'm drunk and passed out somewhere. See, because it's, it's Kevl and... So, um, this is the lady I've got to croak. I mean, it's an objective, see? It's... I don't know what that was. was. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. I'll do some exploring first. Yeah. <laughs> You know, where were we all in June of 1999? <laughs> well, why am I even asking that? We were all at our computers downloading this FM. Like, this FM is pre-Thief 2, that, that this is the early era. Looking Glass was still in business. When this FM came out, who goes there? All quiet now. <laughs> Must have been rats. <clears throat> hey, that there? I think I saw there. something. Trolling doofuses, ladies and gentlemen. Someone there? Don't know what it was. It's just gone now. <clears throat> Hello. What's going? Yeah, 
that. I was asking for it there. Is there a locked door on the other side of this? Out of here. Seems to make the lock noise. What's going on over there? Okay, maybe I'll try going in here now. Uh, <coughs> I see you there. I am just getting destroyed at this part. Hey, I. There was a time. <clears throat> that knife is not a good sign in here. I thought that knife was like a silver crown loot item. <coughs> well, uh, should I get it over with? I don't know what that was. Is that done. you, Kevil? Sure, best we're done quickly. Don't know what it was, and it's gone now. <clears throat> okay, here we go. This just It's like when you get a a shot, just think about something else. Who's noising about then? Oh hey, look, it was an objective. It's just always weird. Oh, hey. That did something. Uh, killing someone in Thief. You know, even back in the day, when I first played it, I, I don't think I really killed any NPCs except like zombies, maybe a Burrick. Now I even try to go past them, but... Dear Catherine, should I read it? Or should I just let you read it? I'll just let you read it this time. Let's see. Let me start reading this. Scan through the video if you've already read it, because um, it'll be up here a while. <laughs> Not saying I'm a slow reader, just, um, <clears throat> you know, wanting to give people plenty of time. Harvain. <laughs> Now there's a name. Arvain. I guess Harvey for short. So let's see, the, the golden skull. I'm guessing that switch button thingy. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Blogger transactions made through August. Rent payment. Heroin Sandworth. Oh, I love these names. Dorcas. Not as much. Um, not doesn't have the same ring of heroin Sandworth. Not saying there's anything wrong with the name Dorcas. Skimper.
Build or Forsaken. Here we go. It says Golden Bone, not Golden Skull. Well, this was 1999. I, I can't say anything. I mean, this was the first FM that you played through the game executable. Huh? At least according to records I have found. Still need a bit of loot, and then getting back to the back out. Then move there. <laughs> yep. You know the sound propagation isn't ideal in this one. I'm I'm not blaming anything besides myself here, but it did not sound like that guard was in this room. That's all I'm saying. And yes, I'm going to see if I can close back the secret doorway passage thingy, which I can't. Oh well. Don't mind me, guards. Just write again my journal. Okay, lady, I won't come to check in on you. So we might need to walk through the other way. Let me wait and see. I'm just gonna wait on these guards here. Treasure chest through the wall. Now that, those are some skills. But if this is a public area where anyone can walk through these little spy hole things, aren't that secret, right? This isn't like a secret passage, right? It's like anyone can use those spy holes. Maybe like only, you know, only personnel come back here. I'm thinking I'm about to get caught, but anyway. Hey, I'm old. This was made in 1999. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Of course, in 1999, I wouldn't have cared either. Would have been a kid hyped up on sugar. And playing things like Quake and Unreal. Half-Life. Terminal Velocity. Sloppy. Sounded like that guard was like in a different country.
anything? Someone there. Garrett was seedier in these days, though, you know, the topic of an objective to um, kill someone. I mean, he threatened Cuddy and the uh, Crags Cliff. Remember when he said, um, you know, or I'm, or I'm gonna have to kill you for stiffing me again. I just went on a little boingy jump there. That was goofy. I, I was crouched. And I hit the crouch button to uncrouch right next to that chest and I flew upwards. Hey, this was 1999. Weird stuff was happening back then. I, I attribute that to the millennial bug. Millennium bug. Yeah. Here is done. What did I just do? Whatever I just did, I will never do again. Uh, I, I should have said, oh, I think my work here is done. I don't know why I gave it that inflection. Yeah, these nobles loved their high ceilings and marble floors. I mean, couldn't you say that this FM was turn of the millennium? Like, we refer to things between the 19th and 20th century as turn of the century? Why don't we call things from this era turn of the millennium? Uh, anyway. But see, if I was a noble in the world of Thief, I would design my house, I would just have all the flooring be marble. Like, why do it any other way? Bathroom, marble. Dining room, marble. Always marble. Bedrooms, marble. Rugs, heck no. A sea of marble. Sea of marble, no shadows. just goes to that one hallway I was in and there was nothing in it it was just a big hallway <laughs> time to head back to the back alley and get ready to get my payment from Cuddy I think I'm doing this job for him right he had a note about it yep good old reliable Cuddy always comes through on the payment Always gives me my cut. 
You can rely on people like Cuddy. I'm sure he's not going to stiff you? me or anything. No, it's me. Is that you? Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. Yes, I know. I may not have all the loot. You're calling to me. Let's see. Can I? Can I do this? A, a broadhead arrow? Are you kidding me? Someone making noise? Um, just me. Aha. Ah. Okay. That would have broken the a ghost. Time I jump for rats. <laughs> Who is there? Is someone there? <laughs> Nothing here now. That was the quickest alert cycle I've ever heard in my life. Side at last. Sorry, I always I wanted to do that. What do I pay you guards for? I hire all of you guards. And a thief breaks in, steals all my valuables, and kills me? And you're all just complaining about rats and dinner and stuff like that? Sir? You was done? I didn't know he would turn that way. <laughs> you know, worker morale is very low among these guards. It used to be like an elite guard company, like... They just give you three guards, and they're like total just elite stealth, like bodyguard types. Who is there? Is someone there? Oh well. I don't know what it was. And they live by one motto. Nothing is a rat. Nothing. All right, and we're back at the start here. I think I should be done. Yes. Let's look at the stats. Hey, I didn't check that off. Oh, it's 1999. What can I say? Okay. Still lacked a hundred loot. That might have been in that. Well, no, because I saw a key on a pocket. That might have been the other pocket. Locks pick. Did actually track that? I know, have I seen that before? I mean, I always look at these stat screens. I guess that has been there. I've just never paid attention. Innocence killed some. Okay. A noble job on a noble death. Anyway, thank you for watching my Let's Play. I will continue my historical series next time with another 1999 FM. And meanwhile, I will also be working on my video essay series on Thief FM history, where I look at Thief FM's era by era, starting with the early days. That's all for now. I'm Trevor, signing out. Thank you for watching Taffers. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that stuff. Always appreciate any feedback. Definitely appreciate you watching. Thanks again, and have a good one. Keep on taffing.